Hi guys, my name is Tolodi and as you all know, I'm a new YouTuber. So this is my first official video. So my channel, you know, focuses on fashion style. So if you love fashion and you love style, I'm just giving you lots of style inspo. You know, you love fashion, you love style and you like, you know, like gist and things like that. This is the channel for you. <laughs> yeah, so today's video, I'm just going to be talking about myself. You know, I have a few people that know me. I know a few people that know me on Instagram, but they don't really know a lot about me. So I'm just going to be, you know, disclosing a few things about myself in this video. But before I go right into it, I would like to show you my bedroom, like give you like a bedroom tour, you know, because I feel like uh, as a woman or anybody, whatever gender you are, a man, a woman, whatever you are, you go to work every day, you know, you're hustling and then you're coming back to your house. You want your bedroom because your bedroom is where you sleep every night so you want your bedroom to just look amazing like you just want it to be cozy and very comfortable so that you don't have to be thinking about going to sleep at your friend's house you know so you want to make your own bedroom as comfortable as it can be so I will be showing you that so come with me guys welcome to my bedroom Going to be showing you is this beautiful blanket from Victoria's Secret. So it was actually a gift. I didn't buy this. It was given to me by someone really special. So I just kept it right here, like a piece on my bed, like an extra blanket. So it's really pretty, and I love it. Moving on from this, I'm going to be showing you my Prada Mafa frame. So this is the famous Prada Mafa frame. Like everybody has this. But the one that most people have is like black and white, but this is like the gold, you know, so I feel like this is really, really beautiful. And because I have like gold, you know, like gold details in my room, I'm going to be showing you that afterwards. That's why I had to go for this one. So come on. And then this is my beautiful uh, bag shelf. I don't have too many bags. For some reasons, I'm not just a bag lover, you know. But yeah, I have a few and I love them. I just put them beautifully, very arranged so that it's easy for me to assess them, you know. Yeah. And then this is my drawers. These are my drawers. So the first drawer is basically where I keep my underwears. And then these are my colognes. You know like this is just my colognes and these are my favorite colognes from chanel this is the gabrielle chanel and this is the number five this is almost finished but i love them you should try them okay so now let me show you my closet come on yeah so this is my closet where i have my weaves you know i have about 20 weaves here and i have a few with my hairstylist yeah i'm a weave on person oh yes now let me tell you a secret about this closet i have a thousand and one clothes in this closet but you never know because of how i you know how i fold them i make sure that i have like extra jacket like i put like two three jackets in one hanger that just makes just just gives me space because i don't have like a huge 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 closet so you want to manage your space and i'm very detailed so this i'm just show you how i fold my clothes in very tiny bits you see so that you can have like plenty space because i have a lot of clothes trust me i do have a lot of clothes so let's go oh this is a beautiful plant that i got from wayfair can you guess if it's artificial or it's real of course it's artificial and it's very pretty and green the land is green is green for me yeah so this is green because green is my favorite color yeah so now let me show you my bed come on come on 
here so this bed is green and green is my favorite color emerald green is my favorite color so this is a queen size bed i don't have like a big bedroom you know so this is a queen size bed and it's green i got it from wayfair i got it for a thousand five hundred dollars i love it and i'm a pillow girl i have about come on i have about one two three four five six seven eight pillows like these pillows are very nice they're decorative pillows that you can't see and i got them for like about 75 dollars each i didn't care i love them and that's why i got it yeah and then i have white sheets on my bed so i'm going to give you two reasons why i actually have them in white so the first reason why i specifically love to have white sheets just white sheets on my bed is because for health reasons have you noticed that sometimes you break out you have like breakouts on your face or you're sniffing your nose or you know you're having runny nose sometimes it's because your bed sheet is dirty so if it is white i can easily tell that oh it's dirty but if it's different color i won't even be able to know that it's dirty so i just keep it white and second of all it just gives you this five star hotel feeling you know when you go to a hotel and you're in a five-star hotel you're feeling some kind of way that is what white sheet does so moving on from that this is um, my beautiful plant from Wayfair this plant is so expensive I think I got it for about $200 but I don't care it's really pretty I've had it for almost a year now and it's really really cool I love it and yes so this is my shoe shelf uh, I feel that you can't really see most of my shoes I know but it's a style you know I just covered half of it and half of it is showing so first of all I'm going to be showing you my favorite votes mm, of all times so you know I reside in the United States of America and now that I'm living here I have to just love boots because that is what is going on like you just have to have boots in your closet as an American yeah so this is my favorite boot from Vince Camuto as you can see this is Vince Camuto you see this boot is about $300 you know like I don't know how much it is if they're having sales I don't even know if they ever do any sales but this is really really durable trust me you want to buy one for yourself yeah so now I will be showing you yeah so let's move on from my shoes this is this is the pillow for the season we're in summer time summer time summer baby so i literally had to buy this because i saw it it was like it says summer holidays on a tropical it's almost summer or is it summertime yes it's summertime and this is the pillow for the season and i have this my beautiful chair that i'm going to be sitting down to talk to you guys most of the time so let me sit on it let me show you how i look on this chair uh -uh. don't you see how i look cozy comfortable and that's it so that's too it's green of course i told you my favorite color is green i got it from wayfair too and i have just this tray where I, sometimes i keep my laptop if it's not on my bed and then you know this is see it's emerald green and it's velvet so yeah that's it for my room and of course my curtains are gold and this frame yeah i forgot to tell you this frames are excellent like i always say that this girl right here smoking a cigarette by the hook by the sm smoker what is it called yes i just say that that girl is me because she's minding her business she's looking away like you guys don't talk to me keep walking away keep walking away that is me right there and that girl right there with her nice shoes red short red dress that is me i'm saying do more of what makes you happy that's what the friend says do more of what makes you happy if you know me i do more of what makes me happy i don't do anything because mr a is doing this or mr b is doing this i do it because it makes me happy and now uh, that's a shoe from of course i had to keep it close to my shoe closet you know just to tell you that you know that's my shoe closet and then this last frame says don't be like the rest of them darling i'm not like the rest of them i'm not like the rest of anybody i am myself i am tolu lope Dawudu. i am tolu d and i do myself so i'm not like the rest of anybody i'm not like anybody i am myself 
so that's really the end of my video i will be talking about myself as i told you so don't go away make sure you stay tuned and i'll see you hey guys welcome back i know i know you love my bedroom well i do i designed and styled it by myself <laughs> yeah so like i was telling you that a bedroom is where you want to relax so you want to make it as cozy as you you know as you can so yeah let's just go straight into why we're really here so today i'm going to be talking about myself yeah as you all know my name is tolu d so tolu is the short form for tolu lope and d is the short form for da Udo. that's my last name yeah i am from edo state in the beautiful nigerian i am very nigerian <laughs> I don't know what which one is very nigerian but yeah i'm very nigerian i'm nigerian and i'm from Edo state my mom is half Benin republic and half nigerian but my dad is pure nigerian from Edo state yeah so i am single no children do i have any intentions of getting married hell yes i'm single so you better shoot your shot as you're watching this video now shoot your shot my nigga <laughs> yeah don't mind me but yeah i don't have any children for now eventually won't when i'm married yes so i am 30 years old and i just clocked 30 years old in january yes i know i'm old i don't look it please don't give me that eyes i know i don't look i don't look 30 mm -mm. i walk into a place and people be like you look so young wow sometimes it's good sometimes it really isn't because people tend to disrespect your small size <laughs> yeah and i'm a size 10 yeah i used to be a size 8 for a period of time growing up for a very long time i was a size 8 until about last year you know and then now i'm a size 10 because of my booby area my hips i'm a size 10 but my arms are like you know like a super size 8 but i just buy a size 10 to be on the safe side or medium yeah that's what i wear so yeah and then i have two amazing brothers ah I always post their pictures on my Instagram. I'm sure everybody sees that. I have two wonderful brothers. And I'm the only girl. I'm the second sibling of three. And I'm the only girl. Yes, like I said. I have a beautiful mother back home in Nigeria. I love her so much. I made her my best friend. And my only sister, because I didn't have a sister, you know. So my mom is my best friend. And my sister. You'll be seeing her often when she joins me on this channel sometimes. So don't go away <laughs> yeah i have two brothers yeah and then what's the next thing i'm going to say about myself that you should know my best color is green emerald green i think i told you already see my bed is green my stool is green emerald green the shade emerald i feel like it's very beautiful i feel like it's bright it's amazing i love it you know it's classy it's way classy than any other shade to me my opinion you know I feel like uh, emerald green is really really nice and if i'm getting married i'm probably going to be having like emerald green in my wedding of course you know yeah. and my second favorite color is mustard yellow mustard yellow put some respect on that mustard don't just say mustard no mustard yellow you know there are many shades of yellow but you see that mustard oh, it gives me joy <laughs> yes mustard yellow is amazing okay so now let us talk about let me talk about my personality hmm. how am i going to describe myself i'm going to say that i'm a very happy person most of the time so growing up i just noticed that i'm always happy no matter what i'm going through i tend to snap out of it very quickly like when i'm down or you know like i feel a certain way because everybody has his own bad days of course i have my own bad days come on but i i tend to snap out of it and I make a lot of jokes out of almost everything. I'm always smiling. I'm always happy. So I'm like a very happy person. That's how I'm going to define my personality. And I like very bright colors. I don't really do dark colors like black or brown. Mm -mm. Because I feel like you I feel like when you're I feel like the colors that you like or the colors that you attract kind of defines your personality for me. So if you like to wear black all the time and you're not exactly a light skin person because i know a lot of light people like you know they like uh wearing black because it pops out their complexion but then you're dark skin and you like to wear black all the time i feel like that's a no no for me i feel like that's telling me something off i feel like that's telling me that you're a sadist 
somehow yeah so i like to wear bright colors because of my i'm a vibrant person i'm like the breath of fresh air <laughs> i walk into a place and i ginger the place i walk into a place and there's no dull moment i walk into a place and you're all smiling and all laughing that is me i am osha proper <laughs> Yeah, I'm very, I'm very vibrant, very vibrant. I'm never really dull. So that's, that, I think that's basically about my personality. What are my hobbies? I love looking good. That's it. I like to have fun. Like I told you, I'm the life of a party. I am the life of a party. I like to have fun. I just like to do anything fun. You know, I'm afraid of height. I travel. Yes, I've been to a few countries. I've been to London. I've been to Dubai. I've been to um i've been to germany i've been to ghana yes but now by far so i had to go maybe because my mom was going and she needed you know like a handbag because i'm usually a handbag and she'd be like let's go i have to go to on this trip let's go you know but if you ask me i don't like height i can't do all those is this skydiving what's that thing called my god i would die i cannot do it yeah that's one of the fears i have height and then I don't know how to swim. This may sound like a turner for some of you that, you know, can swim, but I cannot swim. I don't feel keep myself a big. I don't feel swim. I cannot swim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I can't swim. I don't like the water. I have very serious phobia for water, right from ch my childhood. I don't like to swim and I don't like heights. So what else do you want to know about me? What else am I supposed to tell you about me? I'm going to say that I love food. I'm a foodie, serious foodie. I like Nigerian food. I like Nigerian dishes. I like everything Nigerian. I'm a very traditional person. I like red. You know, red is very traditional. Yes. I like Nigerian food. I like pounded yam, eba. Name it. A furry roll. Anything Nigerian. Solid. I love it. Uh, I grew up eating those things and I don't think I can ever change. You know? And I like the culture. I like Igbo songs. I like Yoruba songs. I like worship songs too. I just love everything that has to do with, you know, like the Nigerian culture. So I, if you ask me, I would really love to marry a Nigerian because, you know, he understands the culture. I can marry a white guy, of course. Yeah. But then I'm more open to, you know, like marrying Nigerian because I, like, I really like the culture. I don't want to, I don't want anything that would deviate. I don't want anything that would make me deviate from, our, from my own culture. Yeah, so I love Nigerian. I really do. I'm very Nigerian. <laughs> yeah, so um, my future goals. I'm going to talk about my future goals. I, you know, I want to have a talk show of my own. I want to have my own talk show. I want to have a fashion brand. I want to do like advertisement. I like advert, advert. I like public relations, public, you know, like public speaking. I love it. So these are the things that I see myself doing. You know how you go for interviews and they ask you, what do you, what do you see yourself doing in five years? That's what I, that's what I see myself doing now. Having my own talk show, having my own fashion brand, because I love fashion and I love talking. I'm a talk active, you can tell. Yes, it's who I am. Manage me, love me. <laughs> yeah, but these are the things that I would like, to, I was going to tell you about myself. And I hope that you enjoy this video. I really hope that you do. So, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be seeing you next time. Bye.